All right, so a few days ago, I started messing with this nice low car shifter and figuring out what it's gonna take to get it installed into this tea bucket. Now, uh, as you can see on this side, I started cutting away at the trans hump all the way up here, uh, trying to look and see. So this is the neutral safety switch and this little zinc pulse, zinc, but we're gonna call it gold plated, whatever. Um, arm right here is where the transmission needs to link to so there's supposed to be a rod that goes from here over to here which might work if it's in the park position but the second you go down into drive uh, that linkage goes forward and down so it really wouldn't work I mean you almost this this pretty much has to be in line for the most part um, so too much of a difference there this is just too close to the transmission to make it work. So started reading the instructions a little bit more and found out there's actually a cable kit, which is this guy here. And what's nice about this is that arm down there on the actual transmission will point down. And so it'll be tons of room. Um, so I started messing with this. So first thing I did was I decided not to mount it up here and to mount it flat down here. Um, it just fits a little bit better with the, sh the linkage and everything there so um, pretty simple four bolts and then I mounted up this arm here um, which just has one little bolt here this is adjustable too um, I had to tweak it a few degrees um, and I might do it some more too but um, anyways so then there's a hind joint there on the end of this rod and then there's this little bracket that you bolt to the actual rock linkage itself. So in the park position, this cable needs to be, um, this would be fully extended. This needs to be fully uh, uh, unextended, collapsed, whatever. Um, so now I just need to find somewhere to mount this guy. If I mounted it, my original thought was if it was back here enough, I can mount it to the wood floor, but it needs to be up higher. So I think what I'm gonna do is weld a little tab on the inside of the trans hump so that'll kind of be up and at an angle but tucked away to where um, you really don't want this cable um, you know binding at all or being at a weird angle there's a little bit of adjustment there obviously with the heim joint or rod end there at the end but uh, yeah so that's kind of where I'm at right now I don't know if you can see in there but I need to mount this guy up and then on the bottom of the transmission is pretty simple, really. So here's the arm again that'll go on the transmission. This guy mounts to uh, where the, the transmission pan mounts. So it'll kind of mount under the car or something like that. Or, yeah, I guess like that. And then there's the bolts and nuts and everything to mount that up and space it down actually a little bit if you need to. Um, so that'll mount up, cable goes right through there, and another rod end here mounts to that. So super simple. Um, like I said, it just took a little bit of figuring out with the actual shifter, where to mount it, and then figuring out that I needed a cable shifted version to uh, make this thing work. So this is actually a little bit further back now, so um, pretty comfortable position that it's in right now. Um, so, all right, well, I'm going to get this thing mounted up, uh, down here, break out the old Miller welder over there and, uh, show you guys here what I come up with in a little bit. Okay. So I got my flashlight here. So there's what I ended up with. I ended up, uh, I don't know if you can see it there. Not, it looks ugly, but cutting a slot in the tunnel and then sliding in this bracket so I welded the crap out of it on the top and put a bead on the inside so um, it's nice and strong I got the cable mounted up everything looks good there so next step is to go underneath the car and mount it everything up down there so let me go under there all right so I just got the shifter all finished up here um, there's a bracket that right there you can see sorry the lighting's terrible 
but two bolts just go through the transmission pan mounting bolts um, and it has big slots lots of adjustment there um, the big nut there holds the cable on and then this arm that replaces the factory one with the little heim joint on there um, so it only took me about 10-15 minutes just to kind of sit here and bolt it all up and make sure everything's smooth and moving smoothly so yeah let me uh, go check it out on top all right so shifters all done uh, I'm gonna have to figure out something with this cable I think I'm gonna notch the floor a little bit to because when the drive shafts in here it'll be too close otherwise so I'm gonna notch it towards away from there and then I can kind of secure it also um, obviously I still got to finish up my whole trans hump here and uh, with that this thing's a little um, stiff right now or kind of weird feeling because there's not a lot really supporting this there's no braces on this side or anything so that as you're trying to shift it the, the whole hump is moving so but either way pretty darn easy to install once I figured out that I actually need the cable version um, all in all like it probably took a little over an hour or something like that so super happy with it another happy uh, product usage like I said I've used basically the same shifter before on a Chevelle so thanks for watching guys make sure to hit that like and subscribe I'm gonna get back to it on this car we'll see you on the next video